Cincinnati's certified most accurate forecast. Well, after being dry just about all evening here, we're finally beginning to see a few downpours and rumbles of thunder. Now, the good news is that we don't have to worry about severe weather overnight tonight, but there could be a few loud claps of thunder, as Sheree mentioned earlier, that could send the kids into the bed with you overnight tonight. Let me show you what's happening here on radar. Boy, quite a bit of lightning right around Alexandria. This downpour just cropped up on the radar, and some of that extends up towards Anderson, up through the east side of Hamilton County here, on the east side of the 275 loop there. So this downpour will cross the Ohio River and head over towards folks like in Batavia across parts of Claremont County. Again, it's a brief downpour, some thunder and lightning out there, nothing severe. Same story coming up on Falmouth over to around Butler and then back towards Williamstown. You see some of the lightning strikes in there, so this activity just popping up here basically within the past 45 minutes. And then we've got some spotty downpours around Mason up towards Middletown over to around Oxford. I again don't think we see a lot of rain overnight tonight. The bulk of the rain will begin to move in here towards tomorrow morning. I also mentioned no concern for severe weather overnight tonight. Tomorrow afternoon and evening, a different story. Anytime after four or five o'clock, I think we could be game or set for at least the potential for some strong storms. Now, it's not a certainty and it's not a slam dunk. The best threat for widespread storms and the most intense weather will be well to our west and southwest, south and west of the Indianapolis to Louisville line where you see this darker shading. We've kind of done this routine before. We'll watch storms fire to our west and then we'll keep a close eye on them as they march in our direction tomorrow evening. Now, should stronger storms or severe storms arrive tomorrow evening, hail and damaging winds would be the greatest risk with any of those storms, but you never can rule out again a few tornadoes either as that weather moves in our direction tomorrow evening. Now, we've got the severe weather checklist here, and we've got a number of the ingredients coming together tomorrow. We'll have the strong cold front, the upper level energy, the wind shear, which helps storms rotate and plenty of moisture, but the big question mark lies in Will we have enough instability to sustain those severe storms to our west as they move into our neck of the woods? And that will really hinge on how much sunshine we see tomorrow morning after the rain. So there's a live look outside tonight. We might capture a few flashes of lightning pointed off towards the south and east there. It's 67 at the airport right now. We've got a balmy breeze out of the south at 14. That ensures that temperatures will stay up tonight. Most areas still between 65 and 70, so we won't fall too far overnight tonight, mainly between about 55 and 60 for lows. And then highs tomorrow will likely climb their way into the low 70s for most of the area. So severe weather this storm system out to the west of Kansas City it will race up towards Chicago and swing a strong cold front in our direction tomorrow evening here's a look at future cast wet commute tomorrow morning probably factor in a little bit of extra time here's the break we're expecting late morning through the afternoon and into parts of the evening hours and then remember it's after four or five o'clock when we'll start watching for the potential and you can see this activity here coming in that would be the area that could bring us some stronger storms tomorrow evening as we get close to dark and then sunshine returns back on friday so 57 for a low tonight, mostly cloudy with some areas of rain beginning to erupt across the area. And then tomorrow morning rain, it won't rain all day. There will be a significant break in the rain, and that's when we'll have to keep an eye out to see how warm we get, how much sunshine, how unstable we get tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening, as that will be the key factor in seeing severe weather. So again, more of a categorical risk right now than a certainty. Here's your seven day forecast, 63 on Friday, and then a big chill for the weekend. How about highs only in the 50s with freezing temperatures expected Saturday night and the Sunday morning. We could have lows in the 20s and 30s. And then for opening day right now, we're back to a little bit milder weather. Unfortunately, there could be some rain in there Monday evening that could impact the game, but it looks dry for the parade. All right, Kevin, thank you.